Hey, yo, this is Big J from Best Way to Smoke. I'm tapping in with you guys with another What's on Your Mind. I'm gonna spark up my blunt, take a couple toasts, and talk about what's on my mind. Part of what's on my mind right now is, you know, today is 9-11. Um, and we all know what took place on 9-11 in um, 2001. And I want to say rest in peace to all the people that lost their lives, all the first responders, and um, and all the people, fam families that's involved and stuff like that, man. Because, I, you know, that was definitely a, a tragic situation. And, you know, people... Um, you know, some people even just from the, um, you know, the buildings falling, the the, the um, all the chemicals and stuff like that. It's people that died later on from cancer. You know, from cancer, from inhaling all the smoke and the chemicals and stuff was out there. That's the, the asbestos and all this kind of stuff that was in the buildings and shit. You know what I mean? But, you know, something that's on my mind right now, man, is like, Okay, I understand, you know, that it was tragic situations and stuff like that that happened in America. But it's like, it seemed to me like in a lot of situations, other, other things that happen besides um, injustices against black people, it seemed like those things are, are more highlighted though. But when it comes to a black person or black people, in general, um, um, like just for instance, bringing up slavery and shit like that. Like when it comes to us doing that and talk about slavery, it's like, oh, that was a long time ago. We supposed to forget about it. You know what I'm saying? Oh, like we supposed to forget about it and just move on and stuff like that though. But I don't think that that's, um, that shit ain't cool, man. And that shit ain't fair, man. You know, tragedies and, 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 and death and, and systematic racism and all that kind of shit, man. That shit is is it's a it's big and the shit is still going on right now, man. That's why it's all these damn protests and all this shit going on though, man. But you know, I'm one that believes that, you know, protesting is cool, you know, because it, it shines a light on, you know, what's going on and, and the situation and stuff. As long as the protest is peaceful when motherfuckers ain't out there just, you know, doing all kind of shit and, you know. <laughs> breaking in the shit and all kind of shit like that though. That shit ain't cool though, but to get out there and protest and, and let shit be heard because you hurt, because you know what I'm saying, is 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 definitely um a good thing, you know, for a peaceful protest. So that get that brings me to, you know, the Dijon Kizzy situation. And you know, like in looking at the video, it's like, man. I know he punched the cop. They say he was he was he was running around like running from the police and shit like that. Got into an altercation with the police, punched punched the police officer in the face, and took off running. As soon as he dropped his clothes, they start busting on him because they said he dropped something that looked like a pistol. Which the shit came out that it wasn't no pistol. It wasn't a gun. You know what I'm saying? It was a fucking phone or some shit. You know what I'm saying? So. And on a split decision, and, and then this is a trip, though. If it wasn't in his hand and he dropped it, what the fuck are you shooting for? If the gun wasn't in, in his possession? I don't see all kind of motherfucking movies and TV shows and shit where the motherfuckers be like, get away from the gun, step away, do not move, freeze. You feel me? Like shit like that, though. But like I said, I can see... Uh, Dijon, he was moving around, running around, you know, in his little zone or whatever the fuck he was doing and shit, though. But I think, I definitely believe that, you know, that it was excessive fucking force. Too much fucking excessive force. I don't know how many times they shot the dude, man, but I know they shot him a lot of fucking times, man. And and even, even now, you know, there's reports coming out that's saying that they don't want to release his autopsy. You know, they put it on hold to release his autopsy. And, you know, it's a lot of people out there protesting right now, asking for justice and stuff like that. Because, you know, we want to go, we want to know what's going on, man. The people want to know what's going on. And why, why are you guys holding on to his autopsy report? 
Let that shit, let that shit loose. I personally believe it's like this, man. Y'all know the dude didn't have no pistol, right? Okay, he didn't have no gun. You assumed it was a gun. He dropped whatever, whatever you guys thought was a gun was dropped. It wasn't in his hand. It wasn't in his possession at the time. You guys shot him. So it's like this. This is how, what I feel about the shit, right? I feel like the cops, the motherfucker probably was mad that he got punched. I don't know if that was the cop that, sh that shot first, but you know, you know how the motherfuckers work together, man. Man, they, the motherfucker probably was mad because one of their partners or uh, because they got popped in the motherfucking mouth or the chin or wherever the fuck you hit them at, though. But, like, looking at the video, man, that shit is, is definitely excessive force, man. Like a motherfucker, that was uncalled for to murder the dude, to kill a dude in cold blood like that, man. You know what I'm saying? It's like you you flash to, a, a, you know, somewhere else, it might go a whole different a whole different way, man. Like, you know, you would think that a cop would be um, trained into dealing with people. This could have fucking, you know, just say, for instance, this dude was somebody with a mental illness or something like that. You know what I'm saying? So it's like different things that, you know, they should be pre fucking prepared for to be able to, to deal with that, with somebody acting erratic like that. You know what I'm saying? The, the, man, the dude said, don't shoot me. Don't shoot me. You know what I'm saying? He was yelling out, don't shoot me. Don't shoot me. And they shot him anyway. You know, man, but like I said, man, it's best way to smoke. What's on your mind, man? I'm finding my best way to smoke. While well, I'm talking about the shit that's on my mind. And check us out at www.bestwaytosmoke.com. Check us out on Instagram, Best Way to Smoke, Facebook, Best Way to Smoke, Twitter, Best Way to Smoke. And check us out on YouTube. Check out the podcast. Check out the show. And always find your best way to do what you do. Whether you're finding your best way to smoke, the best way to whatever you're doing. Just try to do it your best way. <coughs> Peace.